Welcome to Vintage Bricks. James here. We're going to be reviewing set 6034, Black Monarch's Ghost from 1990. Here are some of the key features. So that's part of the Black Knight sub-theme, and it ran for four years. It was released, the longest releasing um, set, I understand. And you could connect it to the walls of the Black Knight Fortresses. So let's take a look at the build here. First, we're going to put the ghost together. And the black head there is nice, nice. We could have his eyes and mouth. And this is a happy ghost. So, and then our black knight. He had that really nice uh, protection, chest protection. And then, of course, the classic smiley face. And then the helm that goes up and down was the start of that. This is the first uh, black knight to have, be able to do that. And the set's again 48 pieces, so pretty, pretty simple. Nice use of these black pieces that you know fit in perfectly with the Black Knight larger sets that are kind of black and gray themed. And the ghosts love these little cubby holes, so we got to make one for them here. And these doors that are used at the time, and put our ghosts there. And we need our knight, and then the wyvern dragon that our knight is holding. So there we go. A beautiful little set and with that special ghost. So now, on the back of this fairly small box, there are three alt builds. So let's just take a look at all three of them. This first one is kind of the big arch here. And this is a, a, a clever way to use the pieces. I like the black and gray contrast and to use the arch and have have the, a place for the ghost to hang out you know, during the midday sun. That's the hardest piece right there for me to figure out how to do. And then the a knight, so nice alt build one. Alt build two, it's a smaller cubby hole now. Let's take a look. Now this is really cool, because th there's the ghost. He's out riding the white horse, holding, the, he, he was he was all in, in the black uh, the black knight. You know, he, he was a part of the team. And I think they, they counted on him to do knight scouting or something. This is a nice little build, and of course we have the, the parrot we haven't mentioned before, but the parrot's uh, you know, pretty good. Now this one I like, because you know the horse gets neglected, but in this alt build we're going to build him a little stable, and a pretty clever use of how they do use those lances there. So one of my favorite, not really many other builds like this I've seen in the castle set. So there we go. So how does it glow? This is the, we'll get a little nerdy here a tiny bit. Hey, but in 1990, I had a Frisbee that we'd go play Frisbee golf at night with. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much is written on the internet about glow-in-the-dark toys. Hey, now, initially, uh, we'll show you how you activate this kite. 30 years later, it still works. So what you do is you... As the box shows, you put it under bright light, like I'm doing right here. And you put them on the stand here, dim the lights, and the guy still works. Congratulations. So it works by photoluminescence. Electrons are sent to a higher orbital when you shine light on them. The energy is released as the electrons come down, and it releases photons, which are light. And the light is in the green spectrum. So now you can impress your friends knowing how that works. So the ghost was a welcome... Uh, you know, in many sets, you can take a look here. He really likes these dark cubby holes. And if you want to see reviews of these sets, uh, check out my channel, Vintage Bricks. And of course, there are a lot of videos on all these sets. So lots of places to enjoy. Hopefully you have uh, these sets or are collecting them. And we will leave you here now with the last photo of the set. Thank you for visiting today.